Take a look at guys. This is exciting. That's right. This is actually a pastel ghost heifer clown. She's bred to a clown heifer ghost. So we can get a whole bunch of like clown ghost stuff, pastel clown ghost stuff. Pretty darn exciting. Today we actually have three ball python clutches, a bunch of clover clutches. So it's gonna be a really cool day. What do you say we make up some egg boxes and find out what mama has? While we're at it, why don't we just roll an egg song? What do you think? Roll whatever one you want, Jay. She got That's a good one. I like it. Let's go ahead and see what this mama has here. Again, she's a pastel ghost, which is a pastel and a recessive ghost, and she's bred to a clown that's heifer ghost. So again, all kinds of different combinations of clowns, ghost clowns, pastel ghost clowns, stuff like that. Hopefully she has some good eggs in here. Let's just go ahead and see what she's got. I definitely see one little slugger over here and a pretty small clutch to boot. Ooh, this is really bizarre. I wouldn't have expected that. She's a pretty good sized girl, and it looks like she's only got three good eggs and one little slugger in here. Let's go ahead and get this off the paper real quick. And like I said, kind of disappointed on the clutch size, but hey, that's the way it goes. You know what? You're not going to get all 10 egg clutches every single time. Nevertheless, we do have three good eggs. One little slugger that'll go to a monitor lizard later on today. And like I said, in 57 days, hopefully one of these eggs is a pastel ghost clown or who knows what it is. Hey, whatever hatches out is going to be amazing. Like I said, it's going to be a very egg centric day today. So let's go ahead and pull the next clutch. And I tell you what, I love days when I'm pulling snake eggs because because again, that's gonna mean a bunch of babies down the road. It's always really cool, there's no doubt about it. This happens to be a pass, oh, she's got some eggs out. She kicked some eggs out. One little slugger in here, but these eggs definitely rolled out. I'm gonna get these in the box really quick. I'll have to candle these, obviously, but you can see they're a little bit desiccated, and that's what happens is when those females stop wrapping around them like this, they actually can get a little bit dried out, and it happens relatively quick. This girl probably laid last night, actually, and just 10 or 12 hours overnight, they actually get dimpled like that. Thankfully, they're they're not too bad, they should puff up. And then now you can see she's actually coiled around the rest. You see these eggs will probably look much better than those other eggs because she's actually trapping the humidity in there. We'll just try to get mama out a little bit. Come on mama, you did so good. And again, she was bred to a really cool male. We'll get these eggs out and I'll show you which male I'm talking about. So we'll go ahead and get these eggs over here. And wow, that's a nice big clutch and a couple slugs too. So we've got two, four, six, eight, nine good eggs. And the male she was bred to happened to be this pinstripe red stripe yellow belly. Again, that pastel gene mixed into it is going to be amazing because the pastel and red stripe stuff is amazing. Then you put that lemon blast, the yellow belly. Who doggy? These could be some good ones. And with nine eggs, there's a pretty good chance we're going to hit the all gene animal. And then the last clutch is actually a pretty exciting clutch. It's actually the stinger bee, which is an enchi and a spider bred to a really exciting male. And this is the third clutch from this guy here. This is actually what we call the new gene. Again, going to change the name. I promise you I will. But again, this is a cinnamon new gene. Definitely doesn't look like any cinnamon. I've ever had before. So definitely that new gene makes the cinnamon look pretty crazy. And again, mixing it with that enchi, I think is gonna be pretty good. Then we got the spider gene in there, so it's pretty awesome. To end the ball python collecting with this clutch is pretty dang awesome. Let's see what mama has. All right, mama. Let's see what you've got going on, girl. Got one little egg that's kicked out right here, so we'll pull this aside, and then we'll see what else she has going on. Gosh, I always love stinger bees. I just love the way they look. And again, really nice clutch. Oh, another slugger. It's just plaguing me this year with slugs. It's like beautiful clutches just with one slug, so I guess I shouldn't be too unhappy about it because, listen, they at least are majority are good eggs, right? So we'll get Mama back real quick. Good job, Mom. And as always, we'll clean her up, get her fresh water, get her ready, get her back on the food, hopefully within a week or so. If we get her cleaned up, she'll get going again. She's got two, four, six eggs. I tell you, that new gene, we've got one more clutch to go. I think that's going to be five clutches from that guy. We're going to learn a lot more about that new gene because in the next couple months, we've got a bunch of eggs that are going to hatch. I cannot wait to see what the deal is with that animal for sure. Let me know what you guys think about it. And again, I'm always looking for name suggestions, but that wraps up egg collecting for pythons, but we still have a bunch of colubrid clutches. Hope you guys aren't sick of me mentioning it, but I really do appreciate you following the movement, reptilearmy.com. Listen, it's about the reptile hobby. It's not about me. It's about trying to put something out there where people are gonna be talking about reptiles, where you can be our foot soldiers and actually wear the gear and then talk to people and convert them into reptile lovers, or at least let them have a little bit of tolerance about it. So go to reptilearmy.com. You know all the proceeds go to education, 10% over to US Arc. The rest goes to other educational things. More stuff dropping soon, so stay tuned to reptile reptilearmy.com. Jay, did you see the van? No. You didn't see the van? No. Did you see the van? No. Let's go see the van. Okay. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Wow! That looks
looks so good. Is that oh, awesome yeah. or what? We're riding in style now. I know, right? We got chopsticks. Yeah. Now you got the back. Look at your back. Oh my boy! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so good. No, really, it looks so good. Right? Got Matilda on the gas cap. Yeah. In the Kluber room, you know what that means. Egg time, egg time, egg time. Egg time. We have a hat creamsicle scaleless. That is a pretty snake. It looks like she's got eggs kind of all over the place. Does look out. What, what are you doing biting me, you silly? Hey, silly. Get, get in there. Whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, mama, don't, oh, ow, 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 she's biting me like crazy, that girl is out of her mind, what is going on here, looks like she's got a couple slugs, but she's got a bunch of good eggs too, so we'll go ahead and get all these eggs out of here, put them in the egg box, looks like there's, uh, let's see, three little sluggers right here, and then the rest are two, four, six, eight good eggs, but I tell you what, mama bit me about ten times, it hurt a little bit too, I mean, it's not that bad, honestly, it's like little pinpricks, so snake bites really aren't as bad as people think they are, but boy, mama was upset with me, and like I mentioned, the eggs just keep coming, it's a busy egg day here for sure always loving that this is actually a red line that beautiful albino line that's red that's actually het for scaleless look at that animal right there holy moly i love this red line albino stuff i mean it is beautiful and again this is a het for scaleless bred to the same thing and another beautiful clutch of eggs right here no slugs which i'm super happy about that's for sure we've got two four six eight ten twelve good eggs i tell you what, that is gonna be a beautiful scaleless isn't it that red line scaleless Scaleless albino, whoo doggy, just wait till these puppies hatch. Next up is actually an Okatee that is het for scaleless that's bred to this absolute ripper right there. That is an Abbott's Okatee scaleless, whoo doggy, that is one gorgeous snake right there. Let's see what mama has in here. And I know she's a big girl, so I'm hoping she has a really nice clutch. Looks like it is a nice clutch. Look at how big she is. That is absolutely wonderful. Looks like a great clutch of eggs. We'll get mama all cleaned up, get her some water, just like we will all these animals. And then we'll go ahead and see how many eggs Egg she has a little bit dimpled which is no big deal at all these are a little bit harder to count when they're all piled up so let's see what i can do here we've got two four six eight 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19 beautiful eggs, give or take one. But that's a big clutch right there. And with these dimpled eggs like this, what I'll do is I'll just take a little bit of the sphagnum moss that's damp. It's not wet, but it's just damp. And I'll just kind of place it over this and they'll actually absorb the water and kind of puff out, right? So the first half of egg incubation, they're actually drawing moisture in. The second half, they're actually starting to expel moisture. But in this stage, we're pretty good and they're not too desiccated, so they should be fine. Super excited. You guys know that we have Chip and Dale, the redfoot tortoise as well. Well, guess what? We ended up getting a couple more. Chip and Dale were actually two females, and I always was like, if we get a male, maybe we can actually produce some baby redfoot tortoises. Well, thankfully, we ended up getting a little bit slightly older pair, someone that raised them up from little tiny babies, had them for like 12 years, and then they just had to rehome them. So they asked if we could take them, so how awesome is that? We've got two more red-footed tortoises a pair. So now we have a male and three females, so hopefully, maybe in the next year or so, we'll start to produce some baby red-footed tortoises. How amazing would that be? What we have here is actually a hypo jelly brooks king snake that's bred to the exact same thing she's a beautiful snake isn't she i mean just take a look at that that's absolutely wonderful get her all cleaned up get her some fresh water all that good stuff and then we'll see how many eggs she has here Ooh, it's kind of not a very good clutch it's a small clutch number one and number two it looks like we've got a little slugger over here too so it looks like just four eggs which is weird because usually brooks kings lay like 12 to 15 eggs but she's got four good eggs and one little slugger over here so hey you gotta take the good with the bad and the last Last clutch of the day as far as colubrids go, I guess all snakes to be honest with you, is this girl here who is a caramel het for scaleless that's bred to a butter scaleless. So these guys are basically gonna have butter scaleless and caramel scaleless and so on like that. The caramel is basically the normal part of an albino. The albino caramel is a, what they call a butter. So we have a bunch of beautiful eggs in here. Really nice clutch. Let's go ahead, just get these out of here. Go ahead, do these separately so we don't spin them around like that. All right, we should be able to get the rest of them. Nope, this one's going to come off too right here. Put these over here, right over here. Good job. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Beautiful eggs. I tell you, that's a lot of eggs today. I'm excited about today. I wish every day was like this because that means that 60 days from now, we're going to have a ton of baby snakes hatching. We are about to open up a box. This is actually from, I think this is from the Growing Up Will Banks group on Facebook. Yes, yes. I'm not mistaken, the barbecue? 
But uh, I, yeah, they're putting on a barbecue down in Oklahoma that we're going to. I'm to invited? It. Yes, mm. we're all invited. Mm. We'll talk about it later. Yeah, we'll talk about it Off later. But I don't know what's in here. It's not an animal, by the way. It is Ooh. Brian Barney Ball. Lori. Lori Boss Ball. There's Noah. Oh, I know Noah. him. Ball. Mike Spider Ball. Here's Jay. Ooh, Jay T. That's me. Pull that Wait. shit up, that's, Ball. Oh, that's mine. That's mine. Thank no. you. Yeah. Yeah. No. Pull that shit up is me. Jessica, this oh, is for no. Beth, there's oh, Ashley. No. There's no J. Oh! There's Anthony, there's Anthony. Hey, there you go, man. I'll oh, take both of these there. then. Thank there's you. No there's Thank no you guys, you appreciate it. What do I got? I got a shirt. I got a shirt. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. That's a crazy shirt right here. I want to be in the thing. Oh, me too. Growing up, growing Will up, Bangs. Will growing Bangs. up, Will Bangs. Woo. Welcome to the Welcome family. To the family. Yeah. 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 you enjoyed the vlog if you did do me a favor right over here you can hit that playlist and watch a couple other videos if you so choose on this side you can do me a huge favor hit that subscription button have an absolutely wonderful day reptile army remember be kind to somebody and i promise i'll see you tomorrow